Okay, my friends, in this video, I'm going to do just like I did in the classroom. I'm going to do a quick demo, a recorded demo for you of how to lay out, sketch out your painting. And then in the next video, I'm going to do a, a demo of how to black in your colors. So this is going to be a quick one, laying it out very similar to what we would have done in drawing class. So the, the main things I want to figure out is where are my big shapes, my big forms, and that's the tabletop and the back wall. Now the back wall, when the, where it meets the tabletop looks like it's a horizon line but it isn't it's it's uh my eye level is much much higher that's just where the it, it fits now i'm going to be painting on this nine by twelve inch uh paper canvas and i'm going to do it in a, a portrait orientation because i have a very tall composition so i'm going to figure what that is the next thing is where is my next big piece and that's the vase in it. And my vase goes right down the middle of my canvas. The cylinder, the opening ellipse is somewhere up here. Actually, I'm going to bring it down more because I need some room for the uh, for the the plant, the milkweed. So I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. And I'm going to even go down. It's not even... I'm going to put it close to my Somewhere around there. Don't want to get it too large because I have to fill in in front of it. I have my the front corner here, so my vase kind of goes symmetrical, goes somewhere like this. And the bottom is like that. And then from there, I've got my, my uh, milkweed that I'm going to be able to paint up here. It's going to kind of go off the top, it looks like, a little bit. Shouldn't, but it's going to. Next thing is the cube down in the front, and that's kind of lined right here. And I can get the angles. And that's going to go back in space towards my horizon line, which is way up here. And this is going to go back in space here. This is a type of, you know, more it's going to go back faster over here than it does over here and it's going to come right about here this is sides a little bit wider than the that and extends over here and this is going to go to the same vanishing point as these three lines and this is going to go to the same vanishing point as these three lines so that's my cube and then when I start to draw the uh, the hippo on there, um, I'm going to treat it like a cube as well. It's down here at first. Uh, it's front foot's here, it's back foot's here, so it's going to be like that. And it's going to it's going to have a height that kind of goes up to here. It's does kind of extend over that. Kind of goes back in the same to the same vanishing well actually not to the same vanishing points it's going back on a diff slightly different angle but it has width so it's going to have it's going to have width it's going to be like a cube as well something like that that i'm going to have on my cube and so i'm going to try to figure out the the, the back back of it and the nose I'm going to treat that like it's almost like a cube for now. I'm thinking of all of the uh, the shapes. Thinking of the planes that everything sits in. So it's going to be something like that right now. It's got a front nose, the legs, the back legs. So that's... And I can start to clean that up. Get rid of the guidelines. So you can kind of start to see the shape of my... My hippo and the cube that it's sitting on. 
So I have something like that. It looks more like a pig than a hippo. And then over here, I have a candlestick holder or candle type of almost vase. And that's going to have like two cylinders in it. It's going to have a center line. There we go. And this circle down here is going to get a little bit wider than the top. So that's basically it. So now what I'm ready to do is prime it and then go over it and start blocking in colors. All right, good job.